seven um, of our series here. Today we're going to be discussing a couple different new functions that we haven't gone over yet, which include save searches, OCR, and note merging. And um, these aren't functions that you're probably going to use every day. I, I sure do not. Um, but they do come in handy um, when the time is right. And you once you become a little bit more familiar and involved in Evernote, they become very useful. So let's dive right in. <clears throat> let's first talk about save searches. There's two types of searches that you can do in Evernote. Um, there's a basic search function and there's advanced search functions. And you'll probably use the basic one um, a lot more frequently. Um, but the advanced ones are kind of a good no, uh, a good how-to um, once you become a little bit more involved and you build up a bunch of tags and notebooks and things like that. Um, so the advanced searches will give you a, a, a more of a rich syntax to allow for a granular and flexible searching options. Um, Evernote is going to allow you to save your frequent searches, make them reusable, and it saves you even more time because you don't have to re-enter the search every time you want to look for it. Um, so I find it a little bit easier to show how do people walk through this process, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So you're going to live in this search bar right here at the top right hand corner. This is where you're going to find everything. So if I click on this, shirt, this search bar, it's going to take you to um, my research search functions and my saved functions. And there's, I'll, I'll show you an example, but you can also search through just specifically my notes or a specific notebook, which is defaulted to my inbox here. So we're going to go back to everything. So let's say <clears throat> I, I want to look for um, multiple different tags, and I want to look at just an, a note that has two different tags in it, and that's the only thing I want to search. So um, one of my examples we can look here for, let's say we have a, a tag of waiting for. This is one of those getting things done methodologies, which we'll review later in a later post. And let's say we want to look for it in a specific notebook, or maybe we want to look for it with a specific tag, or maybe when it was created and modified. So let's say we want to look for a tag that has a note that has a tag of waiting for in a created notebook before last year. No notes found. Okay, so let's look at it since last year. And then you come up with a different set of filters that'll query your notes out. So let's take that out. Let's say we want to add um, a different tag to this. So let's say we want a waiting for tag that has to do with um, work. Let's add that in. Nothing. Okay. Maybe there's another function here. Maybe within a specific notebook. Maybe we're looking for, uh, I don't know, I have a whole bunch of them to do. Uh, I'm not in school anymore. So pick an example. Let's, uh, financials. Anything in my financial notebook that we're waiting for? Nothing. You gotta get the idea though. Essentially, you can just filter the way you want to, and it makes it very easy. Um, the only ones I have right now, I separate my work action list uh, and my home action list. So as you see on my, my shortcut menu, you see work next action and work waiting for. As you see right here, I have a next action just for everything else and waiting for for everything else. <clears throat> so even once you create this, as you can see, you can go back and edit some of your safe searches, which makes it nice and easy. Um, and again, I mentioned before, you can always drag this right over to your shortcut bar and you never have to look on this menu. So that's it. Very simple. You do this one, you, uh, you do this one time once you start to see kind of what you're searching for on a frequent basis. And then once you kind of figure out what you're searching for more often than not, they are going to make it over to your shortcut bar, um, or your safe searches bar. So let's take those out. Okay, so next I want to talk to you about OCR, um, which stands for Optimal Character Recognition. And I will tell you, this is a premium function. Only, only people who sign up and have Evernote Premium will be able to use this. 
Um, so this is a built-in feature that makes searches much easier. So you don't have to do anything here. Um, this is just more informative for you. Essentially, Evernote is programmed not only to search for your type text, such as what you're seeing in front of you right now, um, but also it's going to look inside scan documents. It's going to look inside pictures, PDFs, um, and different file types, such as PowerPoints, Excel, and things like that. Um, it's incredibly powerful. Once you have hundreds and thousands of notes, as you see here, um, I have over 3,600 notes, and so um, it's easy to search for different things. Let's let's use um, my company for example. I work for Houston Methodist Hospital, and so as you see, um, the first thing that comes up, it's going to look within. This is a picture. This is actually a screenshot. And so what Evernote is doing, it's pulling out everything that says Houston and Methodist on it. And I can kind of work my way down the list. Um, look, this is a screenshot too. You can barely see it, but it's still picking up where it says Houston Methodist on here. Again, this is a clipped article. Um, OCR, the, it's recognizing the characters. Let's see if we can find one within a document here. So this is a PDF of a... Um, schedule that we created for hosting some um, international visitors. So it goes within the PDF and you can see where it's, it's picking up the company's name all over. Pretty neat. Here's a PowerPoint. We'll do a quick preview. Might be a little too big. So it says the name Houston Methodist within this so it picks it up nice and nicely there. And same thing with the PDFs. So, very easy to do. Um, some things you might do this for. Um, <clears throat> you could snap a photo of restaurant menus, like takeout menus and collect them and put them in your Evernote account for future reference and you can always type the names in. Um, snap photos of wine and beer labels, which I like to do. And I kind of keep notes and track of, um, as you can see here, I'm even doing coffee filters. I did a trial as I bought my new Keurig and see which one I, which coffee filters I like to do. So I just make a note after I try each one and see, figure out which ones I want to buy later. Um, so you can also use OCR for PDFs for research projects. You type in a few keywords associated with the PDF to quickly jump to the page you're looking for inside that PDF. So it makes searching that much easier within that document. Um, snap photos of gift cards and gift certificates so you always know where you might have some extra money to spend. Um, snap photos of handwritten birthday cards or letters, which I like to do. And uh, even warranties and product um, instructions, um, user manuals and things like that, which I like to keep as well. I believe I actually have a, uh, a tag for manuals, yeah. And so I always keep um, the manuals that I keep on here, alarm clocks, I mean anything. My, my gun safe. Uh, I think these are just good. They're easy to search through. Okay, and so the last topic I want to discuss in this video is note merging. This is extremely easy, but it's a very useful function to combine your notes. It's similar to what we discussed a few episodes back about um, creating a table of contents but this will only merge the notes that you select. And it doesn't create a table of content notes, it actually takes two notes and combines them together. <coughs> Excuse me. So the easiest way to do this is by selecting all the notes you wanna combine. Um, you can do as many as you want. All you have to do is hold down the command um, button on a Mac version or the control button. Um, on the PC version and if you want to select all the notes within a specific notebook like you're seeing here I would select command A and it'll select them all or I can select two or however many it doesn't really matter and then you would click on merge note um, very simple to do so this will combine the select notes into a single note and place the original note in the trash notebook um, so you can always go back and get it if you feel like you still need it. Um, let's see. So I don't know why Evernote does this. It's kind of a frustration on my part. But when you merge notes, 
it's it does two different things meaning if you're in the Mac version it puts the order one way um, for instance merges notes are sorted in the order they're listed so if I were to merge notes on the Mac version the first note on top so let's say I did the coffee trial and then I did this other article and I pressed the merge button the coffee trial is going to be on top and the merge month will be on the bottom which is kind of the preference that I'm, that I'm used to uh, but if you're in the Windows version it's the order that you select for the merge so if I were to select um, this article first and then I select the top article above it um, actually I'd probably prefer if the Mac version did that I don't know why they don't do that here but that bottom one would be on top first so it's a little frustrating that they're not consistent with this but um, nonetheless it's easy to work around so I'll go ahead and combine um, these two notes here so you're gonna see that the thriving suburbs driven it's the same article but I put the picture on top and let's merge those two as you see you see this is my first note and then the title on the second note will divide where the other one was before which is nice um, and this is also a good way to tag different notebooks if you hide if you highlight them all you can um, click to add tax to this back to this whatever um, and you see that these little arrow bun buttons at the top here are waiting for the note to be synced and then once those arrows go away that means it's nice to sync on the rest of your devices so you see, yeah there they go the arrows went away so now everything's synced up and ready to go <coughs> so those are the three things I want to talk about in this video um, wanted to make it short and sweet if you have any questions feel free to contact me if there's any additional topics that you wish for me to cover I'll be happy to look back on and to, to cover those or if you have any feedback to provide please let me know um, so our next lesson lesson 8 it's going to cover the presentation mode annotate PDF files um, we'll go over offline notebooks for you travelers and uh, we'll go over dictation other than that uh, that concludes this video thank you for watching